set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Now McNair off the play fake. Then Steve Smith hauls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. <laughs> oh, a good pick up there, 26 yards. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pick up. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. Derek Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Gain on the play. Second and ten. To throw on second down, Steve McNair. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. An eight-yard loss on the play. It's now third down. Throwing on third and long. McNair, that's complete to his running back, Camaro. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now Greg Joseph for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. I don't think this will even... Nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Man open, Harold Carmichael complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, and they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. A 45-yard attempt. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. 
So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Out of the gun, it's McNair. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out of, and right up the middle. Curtis Weaver on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A toss right to Henry. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Third down and six. On third down, McNair. And it's caught on the right side at Smith. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. zone now they'll look to throw and right side Henry's got him and he is out of bounds getting it down to the 10 they'll contain him to just four second down all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game Cole Komet the intended receiver and that'll make it third down well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there extending the play hoping someone would come open downfield but they never did the quick slant caught oh, take it on in for a Bengals touchdown from 10 yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. Makes the score, Bengals 7, Chiefs nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Turns this to the 22. For the first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And they have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16 yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, 
the end result can be something you don't like. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. That's complete right around the eight. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Give them a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. To throw, McNair. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. From the gun, here's McNair. And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. 